Jack. There's a statewide APB out on him. Jack's okay. He has something up his sleeve. He's not worried about being caught. How do we help? We go after the other side of the equation. Jack has a lesion and its cronies running scared. We go after the doctor and some of the other guys. But the whole department breathed down our necks. It's time for action, Herschel. It's time for change. Jack's crossed the Rubicon and we have to be on the other side. Christ, what was that? Explosion. Something big. You think it's the Reds? You think those rusky sons of bitches that dropped the H-bomb on us? Calm down, Herschel. We need to be ready for the call. I'm not waiting for an invitation. Get in the car and head for the cloud. KGPL can give us the details on the way. We have looters around the corner. Cuff them or put them down. We need to get this area under control. Get a cop, you little brick. Get that bastard, Cole. Now ain't the time to be looking for a profit, asshole. Jesus, i never seen nothing like this. I wish I could say the same. It's like a bomb's gone off. Jesus Christ. Poor people. We gotta find out what went down. Nuclear. If it was, we'd all be dead from the radiation. That's reassuring. What's radiation? Everyone inside the factory was vaporized. Look at the size of that crater. What's going on over there? The mayor is going on television, appealing for calm. Television? We're gonna afford one of those things. Anything to go on? You're looking at the remains of Nicholson electroplating. I have an idea of what might have caused the explosion, but I'm only guessing. Have a look around the rubble, see if you come up with anything. turn upside down. Then it's time for us to do our jobs. That's it, Mr. Mayor. We're wrapped. Oh, good. Thank you very much, son. And think it went okay? A hey. couple of pickups, sir, but that's to be expected. Nobody's ever done this before. We'll get better with practice. That maybe goes for me, too, son. Tom, what do you think, son? Uh, no. Mayor, you came across as, we uh... Have Oh. Very resolute. Hey, detective! I think I got something here. I thought four Vicks was a tough break. Any idea what this is? A very large egg cup? A Viking helmet? How would I know, Phelps? I put it back together. Looks to me like some kind of machine component. An airplane part, maybe. I don't think so.
Looks like all that's left. Try the laundry tag. Phelps! I think I found something over here. Detective, you seen this yet? Come take a look. Blew the locker open, but shielded the contents. Let's see what we got in here. Oh. Only OSS agents use these things. We'll need to get the film developed to see if there's an espionage angle. Any ideas, Herschel? None that I care to utter for public consumption. Tamako Akamato. Japanese name. What is it? A substitution cipher. The Germans used them in the war. These are cipher rings. You know what to do with them? Maybe. I used them in OCS. These first letters are the cipher key. The rest of the message should align itself. an address, 133 North Vermont Avenue.
I'm Fred Nicholson. This is your place? What's left of it? 32 years of work up in smoke. Can you tell us what happened here? Our uh, chief chemist, Harold McClellan, was using this area to test the, the new process. And what exactly is this new process? Uh, that's uh, classified information, son. A lot of people died here, Mr. Nicholson. I'm prepared to go to the press and tell them it was your fault. What is the new process? A way to chemically polish aluminum. It's traditionally done by hand. It's extremely labor intensive. The process could be worth millions. Who is Tamako Akamoto? Dr. McClellan's personal assistant. She came highly recommended. Akamoto was involved in industrial espionage. Was she working for you or for a foreign government? That's a ridiculous assertion. How can you possibly say she was a spy? How many of your other employees carry spy cameras in their handbags? Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph, she was selling me out. If she wasn't a foreign spy, who could she have been working for? There could be other plating companies, but the big customers for the process are the aircraft manufacturers. Lockheed, Boeing, Hughes, North American. What can you tell us about McClellan? A brilliant chemist. He approached me a few months ago with the idea for the new process. So no one has ever done this before? No, but it's legitimate research. So you thought McClellan could do what no one else could do. You were prepared to take that risk. Look, he is a... was a trained chemist. And his ideas could revolutionize electroplating. Mm. And you would be rich. I'm a businessman. What's wrong with turning a buck? You blew up six blocks! God knows how many people are dead. I regret that. That's laudable. We'll be in touch, Mr. Nicholson. Can you send us Dr. McClellan and Miss Akamato's personnel files? I will if I can find them. By the way, we also found the collar of a shirt. It has a laundry tag. They're likely to be Dr. McClellan. And the majority of people who worked here don't use a laundry service. You think McClellan went up in smoke, or is he still alive? You could ask the same question about Tomiko Akamoto. I guess you could. You got an answer? Not yet. Detective Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Can you speak to someone at the Army Air Force Base for me, please? Of course, Detective. Tell them I have what I believe is an aircraft part. It's polished metal, light for its size, and it looks like a cone of some sort. It's stamped on the inside, P&W Wasp Major R4360. I'll get back to you, Detective, when you check in for messages. Anything else? I need an address for Superior Laundry Services. Closest store to your location is in Wilshire, 4766 Melrose Avenue. Thanks for your help. Any sentry unit, any 
Century, Unit 211 in progress, 522 South Hill Street, Unit to handle code 3, identify. At least we'll know where we've been if we try to retrace our steps. Well, well. Why the cloak and dagger routine, Miss Akamato? you would have had something more to say about getting shoved in a fridge, Herschel. On Jeans Lindbergh. Very expensive watch. Favored by Flyboys. I always wanted one as a kid. That's funny. As a kid, all I wanted was some food on the table. class ring. One of the head, one of the heart. Point blank. This is Biggs. Sure. The department gives you one of those when you retire. Looks like we have a match. Interesting dame, this Akamoto. What is it exactly? Microfilm. A document shrunk to the size of your thumbnail. Rod must have amazing eyesight. Biggs, edge 525. I'll need a couple of black and whites at 133 North Vermont Avenue, Wilshire. We'll need an ambulance in the corner, and probably a team from technical services as well.
You have to leave your mark, don't you? What do you need? Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We have one of your laundry tags. Can you tell us who it might belong to? Are you kidding? I got work to do, Mac. Here's the customer book. Knock yourself out. Number was, uh, J2620, Cole. Who is Hangstrom? Could be someone else from the factory. Does he have an address? No. Dead end. Thank you for all your help, sir. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Detective Phelps, batch 1247. Messages, please. Can you put me through? It's ringing now. We're on our way in. Fix that. I got a message from Lindbergh Field. An airplane tech there identified your part. What is it? He said it was a prop spinner from either a Corsair or a B-50. A what? Fits over the center of the propeller and protects the pitch gearing. So it's a military part? Could be, but get this. The Spruce Goose runs eight Wasp R4360s. I think you better get over there and check it out. We're on it. I need an address for an Oscar Hangstrom. Checking. No residential listing for anyone by that name, Detective. Sorry. Thanks for your help. Military project, gentlemen. Can you state your business? Detectives, Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We're investigating the explosion. We have reason to believe there may be a link to Hughes aircraft. I'm sorry, I can't help you there, Detective. Without authorization from Military HQ, you won't be allowed onto this facility. What seems to be the problem, gentlemen? Hey, Biggs. You're not still with the LAPD. Right so, mates. Can you help us out here? Sure. What seems to be the problem? We're working the big explosion at the electroplating plant. We found a part there that belongs to one of your planes. I work head of security for Mr. Hughes now. 
I'll take full responsibility. I'm sure we can clear this up. Follow me. It's the big hang. You can't miss it. Who is Mapes? And what's his connection to Howard Hughes? Vernon Mapes used to work advice. Word is he runs fuck pads for Hughes' starlets. A pimp. Earl and Mapes would seem. Mapes was a role model for creeps like Earl. Follow me. Good day, miss. Can that thing really fly? Mr. Hughes believes so. Amazing, isn't she? So, this is the spruce girl. Jesus Christ, Biggs, you want to get me fired? Mr. Hughes hates that fucking name. It's the H4 Hercules to you. You mind answering a few questions, Mr. Mapes? Call me Vernon, kid. Fire away. Do you know anything about the explosion that happened at Nicholson Electroplating this morning? No more than anyone else. Heard the boom while I was shaving. Almost shit my pants. Thought it was Pearl all over again. But you had no personal contact with any of the employees. And you have no idea what caused the explosion. I'm in security. I handle Mr. Hughes' personal interests, if you get my meaning. I'm not directly involved in manufacturing. Do you know Tomiko Akamato? Never heard of the broad. Why? You don't happen to wear an LAPD tie pin, do you, Mapes? Sometimes. I have a couple of them from my days on the force. Do you know the chief chemist at Nicholson Electroplating, a Harold McClellan? I've heard of the guy. He was pitching some fancy process to the company. We know that you were sending parts to Nicholson for testing. Question is whether you were going through Nicholson or cutting your own deal with McClellan. Interesting theory, kid. How are you going to prove any of that? We found a prop spinner in the wreckage. We believe it belongs to this aircraft. We sent them some aluminum parts to test. Howard and the Boffins were interested in this guy McClellan's theories. McClellan was cutting out Nicholson. That's not our problem. Thanks for your help, Mr. Mapes. Do you mind if we have a look around while we're here? Sure. Knock yourself out. You want to take a look inside her? Can't hurt. Cullen's process was going to replace all this. Latitude 24 degrees, 15 minutes north. Longitude 76 degrees, 0 minutes west. Six degrees west. Twenty four degrees, fifteen minutes north. Seventy six degrees west. Twenty four degrees, fifteen minutes north. 
Let's see where this is exactly. The Bahamas. Somebody's already got their maiden flight planned. Hughes have her on contract to RKO? Yeah, I bet he does. Is that a Pratt & Whitney 4360? Sure is. You know your motors. Do you mind if I take a look at the prop spinner? We're getting her ready for sea trials, so be quick about it. What is the oily covering on the metal? Uh, we coat the aluminum parts in linseed oil to preserve it from oxidization. Let's see what Pinker has for us. He's probably done tinkering with that camera by now. Thanks for the tour, Mapes. Always happy to help the department. Hey, don't I know your face from the papers? You're the cop that's stripping that German broad. Nah. I think you got the wrong guy, Vernon. How are we gonna look getting around in this thing, Cole? So McClellan was selling his new process to Hughes and cutting out Nicholson. Looks that way. But this would never go all the way up to Hughes. Who would have middlemen dealing with stuff like this? Someone like Mapes? The word middleman was invented for guys like Mapes. Must be a tough break being separated from your kids, Phelps. They're fine. They've got their mother and they've got each other. What about you? What about me? What have you got? A friend of mine is helping me through it.
Now that I got you, I may as well ask you. Ask me what? The Black Dahlia. Who was it that killed that poor girl? No official charges have been pressed in the case. I know that. I'm not looking for the official version. I made a promise to the department. These are the guys who sold you down the river. Someone a heart attack. I just wish you'd hurry up and propose. I say we'd bust. Hey, Cole. You're not winning any popularity contests upstairs, you know. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put them down in one round. Where do you stand? I think you're a good cop, but I try and stay out of politics. Everybody tries to stay out of politics, Ray. Well, don't quote me on it, but I'm hoping that Parker will get the job and clean this place up. I have your photographs. You can use the magnifier. There's quite a lot of detail. Very funny. I think you're right, Ray. We have our man. You take a nice photo, Phelps. Bringing the watcher a match for our John Doe. He's obviously the competitive bid. Can you get this over to Lockheed so we can get a name for this guy? It's already on its way. Right through the red light. That you never saw it. Howard Hughes, millionaire, industrialist, aviator, and playboy, and Vernon Mapes, ex dirty cop and business fixer. I found a similar tie pin along with a dead guy in a fridge. Excellent photography, Tomiko. So if Tomiko had the goods on McClellan, too bad they blew the place to hell. That bum took a swipe and put him down in my sap. Is this McClellan? Heck 
Can anyone make out the street number behind him? Are you kidding? With my eyesight? Cole, can you help me with a little experiment? Use the eyedropper in front of you. One drop from each of the bottles on the desk. Place the drops in the Petri dish. I beat her up so bad, when I found him, I returned the favor. Parker. It's okay, guys. Just a little experiment. Can you guys knock it off? Everyone's still jumping from that bang this morning. Very funny, Ray. You just took a couple of years off my life expectancy. Did the same trick to me about an hour ago. So that was the stuff that caused the explosion? I think so. Acetic anhydride is almost as explosive as nitro, and when mixed with perchloric acid, it's very unstable. It needs to be cooled constantly. We used linseed oil. You could add any organic compound to trigger an explosion. Three little drops. Yeah, and they were using a hundred gallon vat. McClellan's patent application. So we have McClellan raising a patent and selling to Hughes, and Akamato copying the details for Lockheed. Where does that leave Nicholson? With a great big hole in the ground. Grown men playing at being boys. Stinks of petroleum. Avgas, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> it's all around the floor. <laughs> Hangstrom is flying today on TWA. Hangstrom is dead, Cole. Why leave your ticket behind? Nips is cleaning up.
Hangstrom and McClellan are the same man. The gas, Cole, the gas! We gotta get out of here right now! Look, by the stove! Shoot the gas line, Cole, we're out of here! There you are, shit heel. Come on, he's not getting away from us. Don't leave me hanging out here, Phelps. Move in. Shit. Do security men, Cole. Stay on mates. Knock them off the road if you have to, but stay on that fucker. for the tire. That'll slow the son of a bitch down. We're gonna have to go through all the security men first. I hope you're ready for a fight, Aim Cole. The tires. Throw out the guns! your hands in the air.
really hurts. Stay down. Throw down your gun if you like. I'm still gonna ice you. You're covered. Stay in cover. To explain this to me again. So the guy at the chemical plant, he's planning on selling his magic formula to another company and skipping town with his assistant, but he blows himself up before he can manage it. So why the dead body in the refrigerator? Mapes, Captain. He was eliminating all competitors for the process. When it went bang, he burnt down the apartment to remove all connection between Hughes and the plant. Mapes, right. I remember Vernon Mapes. The guy had good, honest cops hanging their heads in shame. Glad he's finally out of commission. I don't know if it'll do you any good, Phelps, but between the spruce goose and half the city exploding, you might just have made the case of the decade. 